Hi, this is Erica Douglas from Erica.biz, and I'm coming to you live from my house in San Diego, California. And this is how to save hundreds of dollars a year on your fax service. So this is the video for those of you who are either running a business from your house or you have an office and you are stuck using a fax machine to deal with other companies or people that require faxes to be sent to them. And I know in today's world of email, it can be hard to fathom that there are still companies that want to do business by fax. But believe me, as a business owner, you run into this all the time. So here's an example. This is exactly what happened to me recently. I'm holding in my hand here a pile of papers. The government is just really good at sending you piles of crap. And this is from the state of California. And guess what they want? They want money. <laughs> so I sent this to my accountant. Or rather, I called my accountant and I said, okay, so the state of California says I owe them a bunch of money. Can you help me take care of this? And he said, sure, just fax over what they sent you. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, I hate this fax thing. It's awful. But good news is between my Epson Workforce 600 printer and a service I use called Ring Central that I've used for over a year now, I can actually fax people stuff right through the internet. So I'm going to show you exactly how I use my Epson Workforce 600 printer and Ring Central to do that. So the first thing that I want to show you is the cool feature of the Epson Workforce 600, which by the way has now been supplanted by a newer version that just came out called the Epson Workforce 610. And this is the auto document feeder. And all you do is put a bunch of papers in here. It supports up to 30 sheets. And then you use the included software from Epson to scan it into your computer. And then you're going to use Ring Central to fax it. And I'm going to walk you through all of that. A couple of things about the Epson Workforce 600. I'm not a huge inkjet person. So just, you know, my standard disclaimer, I like those 50 pound, you know, old school laser printers that, you know, they're, they're heavy. So you know they got to be good, right? And I love those things. You can pick them up at a garage sale for like 40 bucks. You can beat the crap out of them and they still run and they're like 20 years old. Those things are just awesome. So that's my epitome of an awesome printer. So when Epson sent me this printer as a review copy, and thank you Epson for sending me this, I thought, come on guys, it's a waste of my time. I have this awesome old HP printer that I bought at a garage sale for $35 and for the $35 it included ink cartridges. I mean, I thought this was the deal of a lifetime, but as soon as I discovered some of the new features of this printer, I was pretty hooked. And I have to admit, me being hooked on an inkjet is, is pretty scary because I used to, you know, I used to have one of those really big laser printers in my office, in my home office. So, you know, the ones that the power dims every time you turn it on. So this is an inkjet printer, unfortunately. Um, and I say unfortunately, because that means you're going to have to buy ink cartridges for it. But since it's so cool, I actually can, I can deal with having to buy ink cartridges. Um, it does have wireless, so my boyfriend Richard and I share an office here at the house, and we both use this printer. He uses it from his Mac, and I use it from my PC. It can scan wirelessly. Technology is great. You know, things have changed in the past 30 years, I guess. So, but I use this auto document feeder. And if you are still stuck on a fax machine, if you've still got like one of those old school ones that actually like prints out a piece of paper every time somebody sends you something, you're definitely going to want to upgrade into the new millennium here. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So to send a fax, all you're going to do is you're going to print out all the paper. If you need to have it signed, you should print it out. Or if it came to you in the mail like this did, you should print it out. If you need to send it directly from your computer, I'll show you how to do that with Ring Central as well. So, but if you have to sign it or if it's something that came in the mail, you just put it in your auto document feeder and then you go to Epson software on your computer and you scan it in and you're ready to go. And no more dealing with this, this crap, like this phone cable stuff. You can finally throw all these stupid things away because this service doesn't require any phone cables. It's completely wireless. The printer is wireless and then it connects to your internet connection at your home or your office. And then Ring Central, the other piece of it, actually goes through the internet to send you a fax. So time to upgrade, guys. I'm telling you. Let me show you how I do this. And also, by the way, I use this all the time whenever I get receipts in the mail, if I get, you know, 
uh, packing slips, things like that. I scan all that stuff into my computer. I file it into folders on my computer, then it's automatically backed up online. And I don't have to deal with files full of paper. I've actually shredded hundreds of pages of documents since I got this set up. So thank you again, Epson, for sending me the Epson Workforce 600 printer. Uh, you can check that out online. I'm gonna provide a link right below this video to buy the Epson Workforce 600 or 610 printer. It's under 200 bucks. Really, it's, it's kind of worth it, even, even from somebody who dearly loves those 50 pound old school laser printers. I, I'm kind of sold on this, and I'm, I'm definitely sold because of the auto document feeder. Next part of this video, I'll be on my computer showing you exactly how you can do what I just did and get rid of your fax line once and for all. Stop paying these phone companies all of your money. Save hundreds of dollars a year. Stay tuned. Hey, we're back on my computer, and I just wanted to show you the Epson Scan program. This is the program that comes free with your Epson printer, and I got to it by going to Start, All Programs, Epson, Epson Scan, and then clicking on the Epson Scan link. So just a quick couple of settings. I like to keep it on grayscale since I'm going to be faxing. I also use that for archiving documents. Obviously, you'd want to change that to color if it's really important that you scan in color. And then basically all you do is click scan and then the little window is going to pop up. So I'll do that right now. This is the next window. So here I've made a folder in my documents called my scans and I just keep all of my scans in there. I do scan to PDF whether I'm going to fax or archive the documents. And I recommend that you leave this box checked that says open image folder after scanning and show this dialog box before next scan. So that's all I do. Then make sure your paper is loaded into your auto document feeder face up and click OK and it's going to scan. After it's done scanning, it's going to pop up in a window. And here is the image that I just scanned. And if I want to send it via fax to somebody, all I do is right click on it and this assumes, by the way, that you already have the Ring Central software installed. Right below this video, you'll see a link where you can start a free trial of Ring Central. So I right click on it and then I click Send to Ring Central Internet Fax. And that's going to pop up a window. It's going to show you your document behind this window. And then this window, it's going to ask you for the fax number. You just type that in, type their name, their company name if applicable, and down here, this is the cover page and I usually just type in a little note on the cover page. Once you've done all of that up here and I'll scroll up a little bit up here, you just click send and voila, you've sent your fax straight from your computer. Once you've sent your fax, check your email because Ring Central will send you an email once your fax has been successfully sent to the recipient. It also sends you an email if their fax machine is busy and then it'll automatically retry the fax. If you need to add more files, you just go up here and click attach and click and add more files to the scan window. So that's it. It's pretty easy. Once you learn how to do this and the learning curve is pretty simple, you'll find that it's probably just as easy to do this as to fax from an old school fax machine. In fact, I think this is easier than the old school fax machine we used because it constantly jammed paper and it was really frustrating. So best of luck using your printer with an auto document feeder and Ring Central's internet fax service to fax online and get rid of your fax machine, phone company, and landline for good. This is Erica Douglas from erica.biz and I'm wishing you the best of luck with your new fax service.